Virginia. From the rugged Clinch Valley to pine savannas and wild barrier islands, 50 years of conservation have preserved some of our state's greatest natural treasures. The Nature Conservancy really is the result of people and our chapter began in Elizabeth Bocock's living room on Franklin Street in downtown Richmond. She pulled together several uh, key individuals to start our chapter and it really got it off to a good start. Out of our humble beginnings grew our first nature preserve on Wildcat Mountain in 1961. This region has lost so much of its natural heritage. It's become a treasure here and a wild treasure with its wildlife and relatively pristine natural systems, so I'm delighted by that. The Conservancy has since put down roots across the Commonwealth. We saw uh, during the past uh, eight years a doubling of the acres that were in the state's natural area preserve system, system that the Conservancy helped to develop. On the eastern shore, our community-based conservation work at the Virginia Coast Reserve has led the way towards protecting whole systems for people and nature. What the Nature Conservancy has done for the eastern shore of Virginia is, is they've saved our history. They've saved the basis of our soul. They have preserved everything that is precious to us in terms of the water and the seaside and the marshes. And they have saved really basically the heart of the eastern shore. In the Allegheny Highlands, the majestic Warm Springs Mountain Preserve completes a vast stretch of unbroken forest. Our family's visited Warm Springs at least, at least every year for the last 20 years. It's special to our family and it's beautiful and it was just a happy coincidence that this area that's so important to us personally was also one of the priority areas for the Virginia chapter. In this golden anniversary year, the Conservancy completed a complex deal to protect more than 13,000 acres in the Mattapani River and Dragon Run watersheds. Business leaders kind of like to deal with people who understand how business thinks and who work in a professional way to get things done. That pragmatism, that ability to kind of define a deal and then get it done is really, I think, what made Dragon Run successful. The beauty of our Commonwealth is anything but common. Virginians share a fierce pride in our lands and waters and a passion for protecting them. We were given a great legacy here. We live in a special place. I've been a, a long-term supporter of the Nature Conservancy, believe deeply in what they're doing and the good works they're doing all over the country, and particularly here in the state of Virginia. The Nature Conservancy, through most of the course of its history, has protected nature for nature's sake. But the more we do that, uh, the more we begin to work with local communities and, and try to help them, and quite frankly have them help us, understand how important the work that we do is to people. We need clean air, we need clean water, we need intact fisheries to feed us. We're part of this very intricate web of life on Earth and we need to protect it all.